something dumb about like why are you still twitching it when it's five feet from the boat nothing's gonna be out here it's that close that might be a spot I was gonna say it sure seems he's got a lot more color on his back too some sharp teeth I don't know yeah it might be I can't tell don't oh yeah got a spot on his tongue yeah that's got a spot on his tongue spotted bass let's go nice Teeth are significantly sharper. <laughs> like, I got bass them from one less than a pound fish. <laughs> We pulled up on this offshore spot and I was getting this crankbait set up and ready to go when a school of spotted bass started just popping off on a bunch of stuff up on the surface. I pulled out a spook and immediately started throwing at them. Oh. This is what I was able to do with Smith Mountain the earlier this year. Heck yeah. <laughs> we found a school of spots, baby. <laughs> Let's go. One eight. Back in the water. Give me another one. That's crazy to do. I mean, there was like one or two popping when we pulled up, and then it was just like doo, 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 doo. mayhem. And both times that I've actually hooked up doing that, it's been not just casting and but like waiting till one hits and then going right, right there where it was. So we pulled up on this point a few minutes ago, and there have been spotted bass uh, schooling and just absolutely annihilating bait fish up on the surface. I already caught the one and we have yet to catch any more, but hopefully we can hook up with some more. We've had a few misses, but we'll see. He's what? He just spit up. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's your fault for taking him around to where the GoPro was instead of just bringing him over. Is 
Is it what's right there or is that something else? Nice. Coloring on those is so cool. Gonna need some more water and some beef sticks and some okra. Okra. Okra? Okra. It's the French okra. Okra. I don't know. Perfect. So you think the fish are worth or not? Feels that way. And then again. This is a little one. That's like, might be little fish for the trip. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Coloration on all of them is so cool though. Yeah. It's cool. It's got this little like silver looking line. It's gill plate. Yeah. Like their gill plates almost, they have similar streaking to smallmouth. Mm-hmm. It's cool. But then even like extra pattern on their back as opposed to just pretty yeah, much a lot darker fading from white to green on a large mouth he's cool their teeth are definitely a lot sharper oh yeah top of his mouth yeah no kidding <laughs> jaw chains Right, the boat back home where it belongs uh, that was a pretty fun trip uh, definitely did not catch as many fish as I was hoping to uh, ended up with six over the course of I think Josh figures that we spent about 20 hours in the boat because we were out for maybe two hours Friday night um, then we were out for almost I mean essentially sunrise to sunset on Saturday and then Sunday we got out again pretty much right at sunrise and then we uh, headed back around 1 p.m. Uh, got back to the boat ramp at probably 1.20 or so and then drove home and so yeah I mean it was still super fun it was a, a fun experience trying to figure things out on a new lake that we've never been on before uh, dodging timber as we're running up and down the lake which you were probably able to see on some of those some of those shots when we were just driving around uh and it got worse throughout the course of the weekend um as that uh that storm was kind of allowing you know pushing a lot of water into the lake it ended up rising 
a couple of feet, I think, over the course of the weekend, just in the time that we were there. It would be very interesting to go there and fish it in the summer when it's up higher than it currently is now, or also fish it in the fall or the early spring when it's down lower. Like this, it fluctuates a whole lot um, over the course of a year. So it'd be interesting to go fish it some more um, at other times of the year and see how it fishes differently. I caught my first bass in North Carolina. I, don't, I have not done a lot of fishing in North Carolina. So first bass in North Carolina. We, I think also both caught our first spotted bass. All three fish we caught today were spotted bass. Uh, again, did not catch as many of them as I thought, especially pulling up on that one spot where there was just, a, you know, schools of them going crazy, um, which the GoPro didn't show a lot of just because of the angle it was at. But anyway, it was fun. We're definitely going to do some stuff like that more often. Try to do, try to plan some trips like that more uh, for this upcoming year. And keep, you know, keep having some fishing adventures. My daughter's getting a little bit older now, so she she wants to be coming out on these with us too. So be going, taking her out some more, um, you know, some this fall hopefully. And then uh, spring will be here before we know it next year. So thank you guys for watching as always. I appreciate everybody who watches these videos hopefully you are entertained by them maybe you learn something maybe you don't maybe you just laugh at all the silly stuff we do and all the times we go fishing without catching as many fish as we think we would so that's all for tonight see you guys on the next one